What's going on guys, Bizarre here and in this video we will learn how to make the perfect champion pool for solo queue. What are the best champions to main, how do you choose your main champions, what are the best picks in champion select so you can win and climb more. In this video we will answer those questions, everything and even more. By the end of this video you're also gonna get my recommendations on the best champions for each role in terms of climbing and improving. Before we start the video, if this is the first time you are on my channel, welcome. My name is Bizais and I'm a League of Legends coach, picking challenger and I already coached more than 3200 of people, bronze to challenger on all roles. On this channel I will post videos for people that want to get better in League of Legends. So if you want to make sure you get better in League of Legends faster, so you want to not miss out anything, that will happen on this channel. Make sure you go ahead and subscribe, like, hit the notification bell. Enjoy the video. How many champions should I play? So this is a question that I get a lot. So you can play one champion, two champion, three champions or four champions. More than four champions is a little bit luxurious and it's something that mostly high low players should do. Of course, if you're challenger, you're diamond, let's, let's say you're like master tier and you have a team, a competitive team and you want to expand your champion pool, playing more than four champions is always good. But mostly if you're bronze, silver, gold, you don't need that many. So you can go for, it really depends on what you want to do. So for example, how much do you play the game for? For example, if you play five hours per week, or if you play, let's say, one hour per day, it's the most stupid thing in the world to go for five champions, four champions, seven champions. Eight. You don't have the time to put into the, the game to play those many champions. So ask yourself, how much time can I invest in League of Legends? And after you're asking that, if you can play, let's say, two hours or three hours per day, I suggest you to play two champions or three champions. Three champions is a little bit too much. I would say two champions is the best, but you can also go for three. Obviously, if you play a lot, per day i think let's say let's say you have eight hours or seven hours or six hours to play per day you can go for three champions it's perfect you can also go for four if you want anything more is like pretty bad in my opinion uh because you don't need that much you can just invest all of this time that you put into the game into improving on the champions that you love so simple do you play less than three hours per day day I think you should go for two champions, only two champions, don't consider yourself with more. Do you play more than like four or five hours per day? No problem, you can go for three, four, maybe even five, but I wouldn't really force it. Personally, I would play for three. Three champions is the sweet spot if you want to maximize the learning, but also improving and climbing, uh, so you can actually invest all of this time that you have in uh, like a small amount of pool. So I wouldn't recommend more than three champions. The second question that you have to ask yourself is, do I care about having fun? Or do I care about climbing? Because obviously, if you are the guy that oh, I don't fucking care about having fun, I want to fucking climb, and I want to climb, then you just like play champs that are very, very good uh, in the meta. You're not really playing champs that are like hard. You're not you're avoiding those like Lee Sin or you know LeBlanc. No, you just play the Vex. You don't play, play the Vex. You play, let's say, the Volibear in the jungle. You play the champion that is easy, that you know you can climb, that you know it's gonna be be, be pretty easy for you to learn the game, and you don't consider yourself with uh, too many things. Obviously, if you're the guy like, oh, but I don't care about you know climb. I want to have fun, man. Then you, obviously you can just pick your Lee Sin. Of course, it's gonna be harder for you to learn the game. It's gonna be harder for you to really climb. But, I mean, the game is going to be more fun, so maybe, uh, on one hand, the game is going to be, like, it's going to be harder for you to learn the game if you play Lee Sin, but on the other hand, if Lee Sin is the only champion that is very fun for you and you feel like you're going to play the game more because you play Lee Sin, I mean, if you play the game more, you're also going to improve a little bit faster, so I guess a hard champ can be good on one hand because you can, you're going to allow yourself to play the game more more and for longer periods of time which means, you, means you're gonna learn faster theoretically but practically if you put this time uh, into an easy champ you're gonna improve a lot faster and obviously what champs do you want to play so here you should take into consideration basically three things do you want to play a champion that is good in the meta do you want a champion that is fun or do you want to have a champion so the question really comes down to this do you want to have a champion that is good in the meta and not fun? Or do you want to have a champion that is uh, fun, but is not good in the meta? An example would be, let's say, uh, Syndra. Or uh, let's say you're bronze and you want to play Vayne. Not in the meta, but yeah, it's fun. Obviously, if you are, uh, like, th there are champions that are good in the meta and they're also fun. 
and I will give you some examples by the end of this video if you watch it until the end. Tips some tricks for building a real champion pool. Tip number one. Having a smaller pool is always preferable because you will have more time to get better on your champion. Obviously, don't concern yourself with too many champions, I mean, unless you really want it, but it's kind of luxurious to play like 6, 7, 8 champs, even 5 is kind of overkill. If you just stay on a, stick on a 3 champion pool, uh, then you should be fine. Of course, you might be scared of, oh, but I'm gonna get bored, I'm gonna, what, 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 what the fuck, I don't wanna, I wanna... Okay, okay, you're gonna get bored, it's okay. If you get bored, then you have two options. One, let's say I'm a main mid lane and I play only LeBlanc and Syndra, but I'm scared because I also want to play Katarina, I also want to play Akali because the game is boring and obviously I know that I want to play something else. The problem is that I'm going to climb a lot slower, I'm going to learn the game a little slower. So I would do this, I would play on my main only LeBlanc and Syndra, but then when I get bored I'm going to go on a smurf and I'm going to experiment other things. Or I can ju even just play normals on other things and test it out, experiment things. So this way you're not going to lose your ranked games. This way you're not going to lose your LP. And this way you're going to be the highest rank that you can be. Imagine 99.9% .9 of the players, they are like, this shit, man, I'm, I'm bored. I'm going to play this LeBlanc first time. I'm going to play this Akali first time in ranked. I'm bored of Syndra and LeBlanc. No, but you're main LeBlanc. You're main LeBlanc. What are you going to do? No, but I'm man but i'm bored and they will play akali they will lose you lose so hard on the akali and you're gonna be like fuck this shit man i'm gonna go back to my leblanc i hate this akali but imagine if you didn't go in a rank and then experiment this imagine you would go in a normal game imagine you have another so you can even go in a normal game or you can just go on another account and you don't lose the lp it's so simple the next tip and trick is don't concern yourself too much about counter picks and draft counter blind picks etc if you're like okay if you're a challenger if you're a grandmaster if you're master tier you're playing a team okay the champion pool like the having a good draft picking the blind pick thinking about the team compositions in relationship to each other they are very important thing but if you're bronze and you're thinking oh i want to pick this champion blind pick okay it's a counter pick i want it doesn't matter okay you can pick one champion or two champions every single time a bad blind pick, you can counter yourself and still win the game. Because in bronze, in silver, in gold, in platinum, people don't know how to abuse you. They don't know what is a counter pick. They don't know how to use it. They don't have the skills on the champion to punish the fact, the mistakes that you're doing and to punish the fact that they, they got the counter pick. So, okay, if you're diamond 3, diamond 2, people are starting to know how to abuse you. But if you're bronze, silver, gold, even I would say until diamond 4, I wouldn't concern myself too much about, oh, but I need to have a, an AP champion in my pool because my team is picking full AD. It doesn't really matter. Until D4, you can climb. You can pick Yumi every game, climb. Z every game, climb. You're gonna have situations when you're gonna be full AD. It does not matter. If you're very, very good at the game, if you're focusing on the improvement, and if you're getting better slowly, you're gonna probably just win. No matter. I'm sure you guys experienced this. You pick the champion, the guy counter picked you, and you still smashed him. It doesn't matter that he has a champion if he doesn't know how to. If he has a champion that is a counter pick, but he doesn't really have the skills needed to really counter you in the game the last step is avoid hard champions but it's still possible to climb with them so it depends on what you want to do because i wouldn't suggest you playing leblanc lee sin vane or you know jason the top lane but really if that's the only way you're gonna play this game and if this is what you enjoy you can play those yes it's gonna be a little bit harder for you to improve yes it's gonna take more time yes at times maybe you're gonna feel like a hard suck but that doesn't mean it's impossible for you to climb. You will still improve if that's what you want to do, if you put into the effort. But it's just gonna ha it's gonna happen at a slower pace compared to, let's say, if you play an easy champion. All right, guys, let's go to the recommendation of the best champions for each role. So for the uh, recommendation, remember that the recommendations that I'm gonna give you to you are going to be. Uh, basically from my expertise playing in bronze, gold, platinum, master tier, challenger over the years, 8 years experience, I coach so many people, I already know, so the, cha so the champions that I'm gonna give it to you, they are not good for climbing, they are not good for improving, they are not good for learning the game, guess what? They are good for everything. So I'm not just gonna tell you, hey, play Yumi and yes, you're gonna climb. Yes, maybe you climb, but no. 
the champion's recommendation that I'm gonna give you are gonna help you with more things, not just climbing or just improving. They're gonna help you to improve the game, they're gonna improve your game sense, they're gonna help you to climb, they're gonna help you with everything. So let's see what we have. On the mid lane, the best champions are going to be Vex, Victor, Nico, Swain. Beautiful champions on the mid lane. I suggest you, if you have the time to and the effort to put into the game and you have the time to play more than one or two champions, you can play two, two mages and one assassin. I think that's the best combination to really play this game. A uh, normal game, you need wave clear, you just pick Victor, you just pick your champion. Uh, but you also want to have an assassin in case something happens. You can also go for three champions in uh, in mage department like Oriana, Victor and Velcos. That's also okay. You can also go for most assassins. But I would say the best champion pool that you can have as a mid lane main is two mages and one uh, one assassin. On top lane. So on top lane, I, I would say that if you can play three champions and it, uh, those three champions are uh, one tank and two carries, that's absolutely fine. Of course, the number I would say, I would suggest for most of the people is two champions. I wouldn't really recommend three because most of the people can't invest more than four hours per day. If you can, then obviously you can go for more champs, three, four, five champs. Uh, but for top lane, I recommend you Ord, Mordekaiser, Darius, Shen, all of They all can carry. They are all going to help you to win more games in solo queue if you play enough games on them and you actually want to improve and you put into the effort 80 carry i do recommend you on 80 carry to have uh, just a few champions just two champions is enough if you get very proficient on those you're probably gonna just climb really really, really hard the recommendation are tristana beautiful champions varus amazing for carry ash always good in the meta Jin always good in the meta the last Three years he was always good for solo queue of course competitive we don't talk and caitlin also really really good support blitzclank zara mmu soraka and nautilus all good for carrying all good for climbing jungle volibir ukong zack udir and warwick do you have problems choosing your main role and main champion did you ever experience playing one champ and then getting bored of it and trying to force yourself playing another champion? Have you ever thought about the best champion pool for you so you can climb and improve really fast but you can't, just can't find it? Nothing easier, I already help over 3000 of people with my coaching on all roles. If you want to find your main role and get your desired rank, if you're serious about getting better in League of Legends, go ahead and book your own personalized one-on-one -on -one coaching session and start improving instantly. I'll see you in this session.